Hi guys, welcome back to Diamond Paintings with me, your host, Mike. And today we are going to be, firstly, I want to get this K colour sorted out first. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get that filled in first and then um, we can then progress and cover uh, some more of this if we get time. Um, but yes, I have found the purple and I have found... The, the black but what I think is important to do first things first is just cover this first once we do it's important that we don't spend too much time on filling um, you know but we have made a bit of progress today so I thought I'd uh, just get this little section here filled in and then we can uh, tackle the rest but yeah what a funny afternoon it's been today um, shortly as I came off air earlier um, or finished recording if you like uh, on air is the term when you're live. Um, I thought I really need something to eat, but before that, I thought I'd have a quick hoover around and I got all my hoovering done uh, for the front room, so that was good. Still got to do like the, uh, the bathroom and the hallway, but take it each day as it comes, you know, a little bit each day. Because um, I, I can't spend all day doing it, I'm busy. So then I thought, well, I'll have dinner, so I spent an hour doing that and I had dinner. And then there was breaking news coming out on BBC One and uh, the Prime Minister was going to be making an announcement. And yeah, it is really interesting because she has officially resigned today. So yeah, she has resigned. Um, apparently she don't want to be um, Prime Minister. So I think for a lot of people up and down the country, it's a sigh of relief. Um, she... Uh, the plan that she raised about getting energy over two years um, cap, it's, it's gone pear-shaped, really. And she was basically saying the day before she's a fighter and not a quitter. And yeah, there you go. Pressure from PM saying that she needs to step down. And uh, here we are again, back to square one. Um, so we just have to hope and pray that uh, we've got someone else that can actually get this country moving again. Um, I think Rishi Sunak will now take it. I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people um, think now that we should have gone for Rishi. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely not good, let's put it that way. So uh, definitely, definitely, definitely a sigh of relief. I, you know, if she carried on, she would have made it even worse. Um, I am really annoyed with like British Gas because everyone else has got their energy grants or most other energy companies apart from us and I don't know why we seem to be back of the queue but yeah I think it's a sigh of relief obviously she's still going to stay in um, 10 Downing Street for now until a new Prime Minister gets elected which I believe will be Rishi Sunak he's probably going to be doing all the campaigning again you never know it could be the return of Boris Johnson um, <laughs> Although he did make a mistake, he was pretty good. He was the fastest to get us out of the Brexit. He was the fastest to get us the COVID jab. So, I mean, he did say that he wanted to return to the front desk job, but yeah, you never know, maybe. Just have to wait and see, don't you? But uh, it is quite good. So obviously that started at 1.30 and then obviously when it's a big occasion they'll keep it going all through the evening and I thought well, I'm going to have to step out for the minute because I need to go to Tesco and uh, yeah so picked up some donuts. I just needed something sugary. Your body knows when it needs sugar and um, yeah I, ne I needed a sugar fix so I went to get some jammy donuts. They're not the same as Morrison's. Morrison's oh that jam is lovely. It's like a raspberry jam. Uh, I normally go for custard if I'm getting donuts, but they don't seem to have done them for quite some time. It's out of jam and ring donuts now. So, yeah, so got back and then watched a bit more of that. Had about four donuts. I've got one left. Because <laughs> once you eat one, you just want the rest. So, yeah, I've got four left. And, uh, yeah, it won't be long until we... Uh, Watch that, isn't it? So, but yeah, it is. 
a sigh of relief, I think, for many people. You know, they wanted her out. But it is the first time a Prime Minister has sort of done such a short period. I mean, she was only in there for, what, six weeks, if that? But look at that, guys. We've now filled that gap. That's brilliant. So we can work on... We've got a choice now. We can either do the black or the purple. I think purple because that's got a larger block that we need to fill. Um... But yeah, so now we can start drawing the line again, which starts off with K, which is brilliant. So we're now on to the third block, guys. So yeah, um, so after this I'll probably do dinner and then I'll uh, get ready for TV and all that. What's on tonight? Thursday. So it's EastEnders, probably uh, spin the wheel. Is Spin the Wheel back? Because they did say that Spin the Wheel is coming back. So, yeah. Maybe. Don't know though. And then I just uploaded a video on my craft channel. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, the evening is sort of when I you know, finish filming, I finish filming around six, and then I, that's my sort of chill mode then. I can just relax and watch TV then. Apart from cooking, a man's worst nightmare. <laughs> I don't like cooking, let me know if you like cooking, but I certainly don't like cooking. I'm gonna stop saying cooking. <laughs> uh, okay, yellow. And what I have been doing is putting some of the colours away that we're not using. So things like this, this is what I do, is when I finish with the colour, I'll bag it up and I'll put what the painting is. Because um, I do various Halloween ones. This one I did last year that's off camera. I put Halloween pumpkin, two cats, then the symbol number, uh, sorry, the symbol, and then the, uh, the symbol number there. Just in case, if at any time we do need spares, we've got that bag. Um, but eventually, once it's framed, there's no reason why you need to get a spare drill because if the drill falls off, it will fall off inside the frame. So yeah, I've just been packing some colours away that we're not using, um, freeing up some trays ready for the next session because it won't be long before we start uh, the December one, uh, so the November one. So then at some point I've got to go to Whitton because I need to pick up my package that Yodel delivered. But tomorrow I've got to go to the doctors at nine o'clock in the morning. I thought I'd do an early one because then it frees up the rest of my day. So it'd be pretty good. And I don't think there's a rail strike this week so I'll probably have to go into work. <laughs> Oh, it's been lovely, you know, when you don't have to go in. Um, but yeah, because the job I do is very stressful. It's very, like, you never get a break um, because there's this regulation that the government brought in. If you do four hours, you're not allowed to break. Um, but if you do six hours, you're entitled to a break. So obviously, if you need to go to the, lab uh, the laboratory, then, you know, that's fair enough. But yeah, it's just non-stop from the minute we get in, because obviously you've got um, you've got two earlies that start, which are eight o'clock, and then you've got one shift that comes in at ten thirty between ten thirty and two thirty. So my one it just flies by, um, but yeah, it is quite hectic. You barely get a chance to drink a bit of water. It's it's quite manic, and then as soon as two thirty comes, I'm like, right, let's get out of here. I've had enough now. <laughs> And there are parts, you know, in the job where you just want to go home because you've had enough and, you know, you just have to, it feels like it's never ending and, yeah, so. Mm -mm. And then I had a phone call and I thought, who's this? And I, you know, rejected the call because I don't answer calls to numbers I don't know. And it was an 03 number and... Normally I'll bring it back just to check who it is or or there's an option on iPhone where I can block it um, and 
yeah had a look at it and then I got a voicemail and it was ACAS which is obviously who's dealing with this court case thing and apparently um because you know I said I want the respondent to tell me what or how long I've got to wait for payment well, he had a reply from, I think it's either the solicitor or the respondent. I think they work together, the respondent and solicitor. But they said that they would pay it within five days. So I've said, okay, yeah, I'll accept that. And now we've got to fill out a legal binding form. Um, so, hang on a minute, let me get this. Hang on here. A little bit flaky. So I've got to get this. This is annoying me now. Oh, I need to get down there, but it should be okay. Um, so I've got to get this legal binding form, but he has to get it from their side. And then I sign it to make sure I'm happy with it. And then after that, um, I suppose they just pay me the cash and that's the result. But obviously if I set that, that shuts that tribunal down. So it, it, in a way it saves a lot of hassle, you know, going through wait, wait, waiting weeks on end to get to the tribunal, but at least we can uh, finally get it resolved. Why it's took all this time, I don't know. But obviously they thought they could walk all over me, but it didn't work, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah. And then I've got an email um, from Sky, because I'm I'm with Sky at the moment. I'm going to have to move this because this is irritating me. Um, I've got an email from Sky to say that they want me to pay £44. And I'm like, you must be joking. You stop my service and then you want me to pay £44. That one of the pa I will pay half of that because I am you know I'm responsible for half of that, but the second half I'm not. So they can go and uh, swivel off. So, uh, but yeah, if I if someone said would you recommend Sky? Hell no, because they'll give you all these offers and then they'll go right. Um, we're whacking it all up now. And when you try and cancel something, it's like a needle in a haystack. They will not let you do it. They're very, they try to persuade you in such a way that you give in. And uh, this is quite nice. We've got a lot of that red colour cropping up. So, yeah. What's nice about this square is we get to start it. Whereas before we've only just done like the square and we've had some, uh, the videos run out. But uh, this one's quite nice because we get to start it. Oh, look, it's only got like two more squares to do after this. Very good, man. What is that? D. So C is probably another colour I'll get rid of because that's not cropping up anymore. So that's good. Coming to the end, guys. Wow. But I'm pleased I've got that K colour filled in. That's the main thing. So, yeah. Probably ne what we'll do next time again then is we'll do a bit of filling and then we'll go back to a block just to fill this. We need to, I think this is the next section we'll tackle because it feeds all sort of rounds here. There's a few little hashtag signs. Um, but yeah, it's mainly purple, this eye colour, which is this green. Um, and then it's literally just the black and uh, we should be done. But yeah. So they said they'll pay that within five days. So it's great because I can then start paying, um, you know, I can pay the stuff that I need to pay and I need to pay some of my suppliers because they're still waiting for theirs. So I'm aware of it. It's just because of this poxy company keep underpaying me. It's a pain in the ass, really. And it, as I said, it's a really weird scenario. Because anyone else, they, they've just fired. But with me, it's almost like they, they want me there. It's like they just love me. Um, you know, and I've actually said I, I, I will resign if you keep doing this. Because I can't work with a company that keeps mucking up wages. And uh, they were like, oh, we really want you to stay. We really want you to be back in work. And we really want you to stay here. Um, with We'll sort it out. Yeah. That was in February, and look, and now look where we are. 
still with this bloody tribunal crap. But you know, I've given them more than I've given them chance after chance to sort it. Oh, the gre you know, the grievance is a waste of time because all you do is you sit around this table and discuss what the problem is, and then they they don't sort nothing there and then. They go away and then sort of like compile notes and then um, try to fix the problem. And I think, you know, it's their wake up call now. I think they know that I'm serious. When I say it, I'm serious. Like if I say I'm going to go and chuck away a TV today, I will do that because when I say something, I mean it. I, you know, I'm not mucking about it. So I think they'll know not to mess with me again. But yeah, I'll never forget this. But they did say, what's interesting is they said that they'll pay me the £81, um, pounds, which I believe is sick pay. But then there's another amount that they owe me for wages and that. And it sounds like they're paying me the 35 for the council direct. Well, that's supposed to be sent direct to them for the council aspect. So I will have to speak to the recovery officer and see what she wants me to do with that because I can back transfer it or I could pay it online. But yeah, that's interesting. So now, yeah, it's, I think we're just seeing light at the end of the tunnel now. It's just finalizing this paperwork that we've got, that I've got signed. Basically it's so that it doesn't, I think what it is, is it's so that I don't take any more action on them. You know, I think that's what the situation is there. Um, I'm just going to gently try and move that over a bit, if I can, if it will let me, because uh, normally when I move this, the camera stops. So let's just be ever so careful if we can. Come on, come on, come on, don't you dare. Good boy. So, yeah, it's just, he said on the phone, on the phone call, he was like, we've still got a few more bits and pieces to do, but we should finally be getting this resolved soon. And it does take time, you know, it can take weeks on end, but, because obviously I'm the claimant, so I pass anything to ACAS, which is like my mediator. And it's like the middle person who talks to both the parties so that we don't talk direct. Um, so he has to then go to the respondent, the respondent sifts it back to him, and then he sifts it back to me, and it's, be so much quicker if I could just pay the goddamn payment. So that's one case. Um, British Gas still owes me 60 quid. God knows when we're getting this um, energy payment because that's on top of the 60 quid that they owe me. So it, I love sorting out cases. I really, really love it. I like pulling companies up on when they're doing wrong when they're not supposed to be doing it 10 times out of 10 as long as you've got evidence to back it you'll get compensation so they're not just going to go hey you're going to be compensated you know you have to have a reason and you have to show evidence why you feel you need to be compensated so uh yes it's been a bloody busy week it's still going to be busy right up till gone monday it's been raining all day today and uh, you might hear it, it's uh, starting to rain again. Rain, rain, go away, come again another day, la 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 la. Look at that, a random, that's like, why do they do this? They put a random colour, but it, it you know, it's not, yeah. But I, I think they've done a smashing job on this, they've really done a brilliant job and yeah, I think the la the last painting that I completed, obviously I've done various cards. I do apologise. Um, I think it was that yellow and pink flower that I did a live on, but that was on, I think that was on the old channel. Since we moved it over to here, I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember, but I know it was a live. But I think I scrapped it because it was really buffering. I don't know, but sometimes when you do a live, it can buffer after you, once you play it back, but it, it's just because it's YouTube processing it. So obviously, once it's, um, once it's processed fully, it will not buffer as much. But uh, yeah, 
I think this tripod's on a bit of a slant because the camera looks like it's going like that, like slanting like that. So I'll have a look at that. Can't do it now or it'll stop it. <laughs> These game shows make me sick. It's like, how the hell do they get all this? Like, is it like when they say you've won a thousand pounds, do they actually win a thousand pounds or do they actually make it up? Because it sort of makes you think, well, how do these companies get all these billions and billions of pounds to give away to people? Do you see what I mean? A lot of the game shows are like for charity and that, but I think it's all made up. If there's a cost of living crisis in the country, then where's all this money coming from, you know, to pay all these contestants? So, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the doctors tomorrow, dare say. She, I, my gut failing, as I said earlier, I think she's going to put me on that blood pressure form again. Where I've got to do that for seven days. It's a lot of hassle, isn't it? You've got to buy a blood pressure machine just for that, but... Or she may give me more pills. She may, she's bound to do a heart pressure um, and she might book in an ECG, but I don't think the ECG can be done there and then you have to book it. Because I think the ECG is kept at St. Michael's Hospital in Braintree. We've got a hospital here, but it's not accident and emergency. So um, I think it's just like for routine things and it's just, I don't know if they do surgeries here or what, but. Oh crap, what am I doing? Hang on. Yeah, thought so. <laughs> okay, that was like two minutes of rain and now it's sunny again. It's just, <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> That's good, bring the sun out because then I'll get more painting time. <laughs> I could do it in the evening, I've got this little lamp thing, um, but the bulb blew in it and I found another bulb under the sink, so uh, we could do that I suppose. That's why I've not been filming anymore with the lamp. So I'll try to get as much done in the daylight as possible, but now that we're sort of reaching the end, I can sort of slow this right down. So, but I'm still gonna aim for the 45 minutes as normal. Um, so yeah. God save our great is King Lord, live our noble King. God save the King. So yeah, well, obviously she's had to tell His Majesty that she's resigning as well. So, but apparently there's a video somewhere, and the King actually went, "Oh dear, oh dear," um, like that. So um, this was, I think, to do with all the kerfuffle around the government and that, but it is, um, I don't think this country's run perfect since um, probably David Cameron, maybe. Don't think Theresa May was in uh, office much either. So of course, of course, when you get a new Prime Minister as well, obviously you're going to have changes. So it could be that to raise coffee, steps down and goes back to health. You know, the health position that she had. Um, obviously, no, she was the she was administrator for DWP, weren't she, or something to do with the Department for Work and Pensions? But then she was promoted to Health Secretary, I believe. So yeah. I have to say, although I haven't worked on squares for quite some time, I've worked on squares previously, but I think moving forward, I'm probably gonna do squares. But as I say, I need to do a painting that's full of rounds and then we'll make that decision. But I, I need to do a, one that's full to the brim, all canvas, not like a partial. So yeah. Yeah, ba da ba -doo. But yes, postman's back tomorrow, so hopefully I get my voucher. <laughs> God 
God save our great is King of Livermore. O King, God save the King. Oh, don't get me singing again. <laughs> so obviously, it looks like we're doing a bit of a tooth, a tooth, doesn't it? Like when you've got a broken tooth. But there's a lot of this B in this colour. So, uh, I mean, it looks, whoa, it looks like a bit of a square as well. Because you've got, no, an X marks the spot. Because you've got this flick of green and another flick of green. But then a bit of gold. So, um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, it is there. So I was looking for my funnel. I found a lot of baggies in there because I was looking for some bags and I normally use the COVID um, test bags because they're crap. I don't know if you've noticed, but that liquid is deteriorating. You can't even get it poured on the strip without it drying up. They're really crap. So I don't bother with them no more. I just chuck them away and uh, use my um, use my thing. Oh, the golden man, what's that? Build a bear, what? We'd done that once, it was like a game, and we had like a big barrel, and we had to stand in it with water and try and get the water out, and I didn't want to go in the water, but if we didn't do it, we were disqualified, so while no one was looking, I would go round and join the back of the queue again. There was no way I'm gonna do that, you know? Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the first of them all? Mike. <laughs> Be funny if they did say that. Or, mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Sunny Stormy. <laughs> John, everyone's ready, lovey. I think everyone's ready. But yeah, they really need to sort of take these stupid game shows off TV. Put something decent on. You know, you're acting, they're acting programs like, you know, um, what's it called? Home and Away. And you're bringing in crap TV like game shows. But I think that's not, I don't think that's anything to do with our country because they film it in Australia so obviously they have their own separate budgets and funding so maybe it was low view count I think they said it's because they couldn't get funding or but yeah that's Brookside and Home and Away now so what will happen to the set someone told me that the set for um, <laughs> Brookside was the Home and Away, no, the set for Home and Away is the old book side. So that's that gone. The next one, please get rid of Coronation Street. Please, pretty please. Have a cherry on the top, nice thing. Oh, clickety click, I like that. Clickety click, wow. Sorry, I'm listening to the uh, some sort of game show they're playing on TV, and they said clickety, clippity clip or something. So I'm going to do four more, and then I think it's time for lovely slurp of the tea. Yes, I'm coming. Yes. 
don't know if you can hear that beeping, but uh, I do get an awfully, awfully lot of um, awfully emails. There we go. It's going to probably beep again. <laughs> awfully. I love that word. It was um, someone says it in Nanny McPhee. Say what, mate? Keep beeping. I do love tea with no milk in it. I didn't used to, but I do now. One of my uh, acquaintances got me onto that. Mm. Um, by the way, the Q&A video, I have got a few more questions now. So I'm trying to get it to 10 questions. When I get it to 10 questions, I'll then do the Q&A. So if you've got a question you want to ask, Drop it in the comments box um, below the video and uh, I will add it to the list. Um, and uh, when we've got a decent amount of questions, I will do a Q and A. It's always something I've wanted to do, but I've never really had enough questions to do it. <laughs> But I'll break it up, so I'll paint and whip and chat, but also do cute answering questions as well. So, But uh, Michael McIntyre's bring back uh, Spin the Wheel, ain't he? So, uh, but apparently the wall's back as well, which is done by Danny Dyer. But Danny Dyer has signed a new deal. He actually left his tenders to get this deal. So, uh, yeah. I'd like some more Peter Rabbit. Um, I've done a Peter Rabbit and Puddle Duck card, diamond painting. I'd like to do some more of that. We will be, last year I've done some Christmas cards and we will be doing that again this year. And potentially there may be a giveaway. Uh, the last giveaway didn't really work out. I ran out of time and yeah, I had to cancel it. But yeah, we'll probably do a giveaway this year um, and try and do it a bit better. But YouTube have introduced these hangers or something. YouTube ha no hang hand points or hangers, something they were introducing. Um, apparently, it's like a bio or something. Elon Musk show. He he bought Twitter, didn't he? Elon Elon Musk. He's quite a billionaire, isn't he? Pretty rich that broke. Must be nice to have all that cash. While other people have hardly nothing of this cost of living crisis in the minute. Oh no, not pointless. Oh no. Sorry, just bear with me, I can't stand that show. I'm just, I can't I don't like Alex Armstrong, so just bear with me, I'll turn it over. I'm sorry, but I cannot despair that man. It's just, I think it's just his voice. I just don't like his voice. Plus, I don't like the point that I don't like many game show TV shows anyway, but yeah, definitely wouldn't watch that. I've watched Eggheads before, which is like a question thing, but... I think the only game show I used to do is Deal or No Deal, but I think, didn't that get axed or something? And uh, Who Wants a Millionaire is pretty good. But I used to like Red and Black. It was a show by Anton Deck, but th that's not really come back again. But they are doing a new series of Limit Limitless Win. So, yeah, some shows come, some shows go, but I don't know if it's their own show, but... Limitless Win was pretty good. And Ant and Tech don't normally do game shows. I mean, they, they do, Saturday Night Takeaway, I know they do, but I think they're just trying to do a bit more. Or it could be ITV bosses need a presenter for it, you know. So. But yeah, I'm so happy we've got a little bit more done on this. 
I reckon tomorrow we'll finish the block. Um, but I have got quite a lot to do tomorrow, like the doctors and stuff like that. So maybe. Is that that colour? Yeah, right. This is G. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that into the G spots, which are there, 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 and probably about there. Um, so we're getting a little bit distracted here. So it, you won't, you'll be surprised how quick you can get yourself distracted. Please stop beeping. I can't get to it any quicker. O, O, right, so that's probably G as well, so we'll put that there, G down here as well, and G down here as well. So it should, O, and, yeah. Okay, so we're back on track, I think. Just need to remember that these ones won't be plucked off because they're in the right position. looking very forward to the Christmas Coca-Cola van. Um, I bought it last year. It's actually a truck or a lorry, I don't know. Yeah. But you can have a photo with it. I think they do it in London. But I actually went past one in Colchester once. I couldn't believe it. It's as good as being next to the photo. This is what I'm saying about why... This is why I say you don't have to go far to meet someone famous because... As I said, we were in the hospital once and Muscle Brown walked past us and we had to look twice because obviously we didn't think it was the actual person and yeah, apparently he was visiting his mum. But the re it's really interesting because he just came in with his girlfriend and him. There was like no security around him or anything because, you know, they just do things normally, you know. So yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Let me know in the comments if you've ever put a drill down that's in the wrong place but you've not noticed it and you've left it and then you realise at the end. Like if it was right in the middle it would be really difficult to get off because you'd have to sort of pluck it like that. Use the tip of this to sort of go in on an angle and erect it slightly. So... Bon voyage, goody. I do love Garfield. That film's brilliant. The one where he goes, I hate Monday mornings. But the one where they uh, confuse the cat and they get swapped. And uh, that's quite funny. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this line off. And then I'm going to call that a session, I think. Do you know what? For the last month, I've not watched any videos on my other channel. I've basically been on this channel more, more, I'm more on this channel than any other channel because I basically do paintings all the time, so it's just easier to be on this channel. Um, I'll have to swap over that and uh, start to catch up on some over that one. Oh, please stop beeping, for God's sake. I can't cope with it. I can't get through any quicker. I 
But did you know, if you keep emailing and emailing and emailing the company, they can put a thing in called a, a restriction to communication. And what that means is, you basically, they if you email in, they won't respond to you. So only in limited circumstances. So I didn't know that, um, but I found it out on one of the data access requests I requested, because each year I request one of my data access requests which is a legal document that you're entitled to. You're entitled to request data held about you within a company. So, uh, yeah, I found that out um, pretty good. So you can have right to erasure, right to restrict. It's all sorts of wonderful things. But look at this, guys. We are so close to the end now. Look at that. We're almost there. So what the highlight is been for this is filling that K colour. We've got that in lovely. That's what it's looking like so far. They have really, really, I cannot tell you, the colour on this is just superb. And I've never been so impressed with the pumpkin. As I said, um, sorry, the painting. As I said at the start, I really was not liking the colour here, but I now can see it's like a very angry looking pumpkin. And it's got like a bit of a mask. If you wanted to, as I said, you could always go in there and put your own colours in. But I like to replicate what the, what the, painting tells me but uh yeah wow we're almost at the end guys but please remember to like share and subscribe remember to tap the bell if you want to be notified of all the videos i do i think next session we will work on filling the color that's over here this purple section and the bit up there and then we'll do a little bit on here um but yeah it's really looking lovely so please remember to like, share and subscribe if you want to buy this painting, the link's in the description of the video. If you want to send me a gift you're not obliged to, you can also send it to the address in the, vid in the video. And if you want to send me a, um, no sorry, if you want to uh, buy this lovely washi tape that's on here, this, uh, this one here that says Happy Halloween, then the link's in the description as well. But until tomorrow at 7.30, that's been another session of a Halloween pumpkin. Bye, guys.